Hello, I am Dr. Meenal Garg. I am a pediatric neurologist in Jaipur and today I am going to talk to you about infantile spasms and West syndrome. So infantile spasms are a special type of seizures which happen only in very young children. They usually start at around 3 to 6 months of age and then they go away or they disappear with treatment or after a few years. So what happens in these seizures is that the child when he gets up from sleep and in a few cases when the child is going to sleep he gets a sudden shock like or a jerk like movement which can happen in the head, the torso, the upper limbs that is the arms and sometimes the legs. So the child gets a shock like movement which happen in clusters that is these movements happen one after the other when the child wakes up and they disappear after some time. So these seizures are difficult for parents to identify because parents think that the child is getting shocked or getting afraid of something or they think that the child has a stomach ache and or the child is crying for some other reason. So these seizures may happen in children who already have neurological problems like they had something happen to them at birth. They did not cry at birth or their sugar was low or they got an infection or meningitis or they may happen in children who were previously normal. So these seizures are very dangerous because they hamper the normal development of the child. Child who was developing normally may suddenly stop learning new things and may start to lose the things that he has already learned. So the children may stop sitting, holding their head, smiling, interacting, playing and they become very dull and lethargic. So these seizures are also known as epileptic encephalopathy. For the diagnosis of these seizures, we need an EEG. So that is a test which is done to look for seizures in the brain and an MRI and sometimes we might require more tests. There are medications and injections which can be used to treat these seizures and in some cases if these medications don't work we have other options of treatment. The medicines which are normally used for the treatment of other types of seizures usually don't work and only a few medicines work in these kind of seizures. So if you think that your child is having these kind of seizures, you already the child has some neurological problem or you think these seizures have just started. So see your pediatric neurologist immediately because we need to diagnose and treat these seizures in time because as I said, they hamper the normal development of the child and are very uh, dangerous seizures to have.